should make this game extra challenging for these squads. They can't just count on being the dominant force down low. They have to get a little creative. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Here's Reeves. Inside. Here's Davis. Oh, put him over the top. Here's Aiden. The Lakers getting their last shot to go. Durant's shot is off. Oh, shoot. No oh, low. James outside. Davis a screen. Fires the three. And it's James with the three. James has got five. With the bump angle? LeBron patient there, keeping the defense guessing, maybe mixing up their coverages. With the bump angle? LeBron patient there, keeping the defense guessing, maybe mixing up their coverages on the back end. Makes him very unpredictable in a pick and roll set. Big time two hand slam. And right on top of the defender, too. That's got to feel good. Shots good. Something like right. This nigga shoot like that. You gotta go out and contest. James shoot like that. Just to make him uncomfortable. LeBron knocks another one down. Go by my boy Book. Booker. Bitch ass nigga. And he hugs. And he helps set the tone on both ends. I like that. I mean, some physical play inside. Genius He's shit. He's not about to give up any easy baskets. Chris Paul. You know, I ain't oh, played it. Phoenix really embracing Chris Paul as soon as he arrived. Yeah, I mean, you know I ain't played it. He's in the latter stages of his career yeah. now. Look at that shit. He a nerd, yo. He a damn nerd. It just makes everyone ain't worried about it. We ain't worried about that. He got a D up. He got a D up. You know what I'm saying? We ain't worried about that. He got a D up. He got a D up. You know what I'm saying? We we'll come right back. He got D up. Booker's got six. A Booker looking to get quick revenge after that. That baby score. mamba right there, my man. To the inside. Get that. Let's go. It's oh, we're gonna up another situation. one. Sight. Now Aiden. Oh, he can shoot threes. Takes a three. What I tell you, stop playing with me. The Lakers We're about trail. Lakers, now Schroeder. Pass to Walker. And here is Bamba. He's covered by Aiden. With two seconds left. Oh, rejected by Aiden. And stolen by Booker. And the Suns pushing it up now. For the finish. Ross, baby. And KD keeping his head up that time, becoming a playmaker. And the Lakers have possession. That ain't shit without Davis. Right wing. And here's Schroeder outside. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Let's go push that. Outside for Booker. Launches it. Counted. Had the opportunity to return to the finals. And it just felt like they were destined to get back there. That was their most wins in the season in franchise history. Just didn't play out that way. With this. The Suns' regular season dominance last year speaks to this team's strength. Oh yeah, they are so tight between See what I'm saying? the coaching staff and the point guard and CP3. These guys have talent. Been through the ups and downs, they know what it takes to get to the top of the mountain. Jared Vanderbilt picks one up. That free throw, no good. But he sinks the second. Outside Russell. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. The defense better make sure they're standing up not all four other players, or else D'Angelo's gonna find the open man. Booker, good. On the comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Oh, that's wrong. In transition. Here come the Suns. Pass to Craig. And why? And why? Suns lead by eight. There's just no reason to give him inside position. Yeah, when he's this close to the basket, it's it's a wrap. Here's Booker driving to the basket. He hits the second from the line. 
Well, you twos. talk about Booker's high-powered offense. He's a rare member of the 70-point club with only five other players in NBA history. Brent, you got Wilt, Kobe, David Thompson, Elgin Baylor, and David Robinson. Man, B.A., if you could sit down at a table to talk about your 70-point night, I'd like to be a server at that table. Booker for three. Cut right back. From, from the arc. Out to Beasley. Here's Schroeder. Hey, nice D from Ross. Take him out. He tagged. And that's a foul. Called on Malik Beasley. That's his first foul. That's his first foul. Here's Payne. Substitution for the season. Here's the three. And the basket by Shannon. It's a glass and make an impact. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. James outside. Let's the three fly. It doesn't go for him. And Phoenix the other way now. Not a way to get out of a funk. He needs to be looking for good, solid, more efficient shots. Not the wild one he took there. And there's Dunk the in it. Slam. Dunk. Pass to Brown. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. It's Booker on the wing. Here's Aiden. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Yeah, what I appreciate about Aiden is that he wants to keep getting better. You have to be excited about his game. Wow. To the paint. Pass to Horford. Screen by Horford. Back to Tatum. Four on the clock. Shoots over Duran. That won't go either for Tatum. Oh, I can see some miscommunication on defense there very clearly. They were super fortunate it didn't torch them with that mistake. For three. Book. It's all tied in Phoenix. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. 13. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And take a look at the Suns' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. And rebound. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on Kevin Durant. An active score whenever Tatum forces the issue and goes at the defense, they have to compromise. Turns out that Durant's rookie season was the worst of his career, Richard. And he was fantastic that year. But within two seasons, he'd become the lead leader in scoring. His rebounding would improve, and by then, he knew. He's on the same page with me. We're all good, right? Figuring it out, Allie. Thank you. One thing you notice about these sons, RJ, many of them are considered strong two-way talents. And that is such a list for your team. Having guys that can get it done on both sides of the floor instead of trying to balance a lineup of just pure specialists. And it's Brogdon missing. The Suns trailing. Here's Paul. That one's good for two. Now Jason Tatum is in that elite two-way group as well. And you have to put Jimmy Butler in there as well. He'll be asking for some lottery numbers later if he keeps knocking down shots like that. And Aiden pulls it down. Pass to Okogi. Inside. And Aiden with the stuff. Pass to Hauser. Back to Smart. To the middle. Here's Gallinari. Oh, rejected by Aiton. Yeah, Aiton has all the physical gifts of a great shot blocker. Size, length, and agility. And here's Booker. Very right back, Aiton. 
Aiden gets the double team. The kick out to Paul. On the wing, Duran. Five to shoot. Outside, Booker. Pass to Aiden. Aiden gets the double team. The Suns need to get off the shot. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Boston trailing. Down low. Here's Horford. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Clutch play by Horford. Rises to the challenge with confidence. This is what coaches love about him. Durant draws the double. Here's Aiton. Oh, and the jam! Horford with some nice D. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. Anything other than a make is game over. This is where you lean on your stars to get you to the finish line. Game over. Durant with the big finish. Okay. <laughs> they have a relentless mentality, even with the game in total control. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throw down. Shot from the wing. Shot.